Hi guys, it's Aoife from Words of Clover and welcome to my first video of 2021. Whew. What a year it has been. This video I was hoping to film a few days ago and already have up by now, but to be honest, I was in one of those like after post Christmas, pre New Year's fog where I was just tired and I just didn't have the energy to do anything. I'm sure a lot of people have felt the same. So this is going up slightly later than I wanted to, but I'm also glad it'll be my first video of 2021 because it is my five star predictions for this year. So my five star predictions last year, I didn't get all of them read. The ones that I did really surprised me in in terms of how they ended up. Some of them I did really enjoy and others I really didn't and I was really surprised by that. So I'm really looking forward to my next selection to see how I feel about them. And I've decided to try and go for some backlist books. So a lot of these books I've had on my Kindle or on my shelf for a while or they're books that I've wanted to read for a very long time rather than new releases as well. And I think it's just a really great way again of kind of getting through those books that I've been meaning to read for ages and just haven't, you know, prioritized. So yeah, this is definitely an aim for these type of videos for me. So the first book I want to talk about is was a 2020 release and it's a book that I've heard so many great things about. It's actually going to be my first read of 2021. I've already had it marked as to read but I haven't actually physically started reading it yet and that is Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell. So anyone who's kind of been on booktube over the last year has probably like heard about this book a lot. It was Shakespeare, Shakespeare's, Shakespeare's family but he isn't really a central like figure in this book at all I think because he's away a lot. We mostly f follow his children and his wife and particularly his son Hamlet who did get sick um, at a quite a young age and he did die and a few years later then William Shakespeare wrote Hamlet and and I've just heard some really really great things about this book that just makes me very excited to read it. There are people who've said that just the writing in it is absolutely beautiful and it's quite emotional at times and I mean the cover of it is absolutely stunning as well. I also am a big fan of the play Hamlet and um, I've, I've been lucky enough to see it um, performed in person as well. I saw the gender swap one where Ruth Nega was Hamlet and it was absolutely brilliant. So I love to see like, I don't know, I guess in a way a fictionalised form of where that kind of came from in a way um, and particularly the father-son relationship in that play as well to see if it's how it plays about in this book. So yeah I'm really looking forward to this as I said it's going to be my first read of 2021 later on with a cup of tea and possibly a donut I'm going to start reading this and I'm really really excited for it because I just have a really good feeling about it so I can't wait. The next book I want to read this year and hopefully will be a five star read for me is Three Things About Elsie by Joanna Cannon. Joanna Cannon wrote The Trouble with Goats and Sheep which I read a few years ago and I really really enjoyed her, her style of writing so when I heard about Three Things About Elsie I knew I wanted to read it and I still haven't read it and I feel terrible about that because it's a book that I have really wanted to read for a really long time. All I know about this book is that we are following um, a character I think I think we're following Elsie herself and I think she's an older character and I think she has a fall or she has some sort of accident in the home and I think while she is waiting for help or waiting for someone to discover her she kind of is going back through her life and thinking about her life and thinking about the relationships that she has formed in her life. Okay I've actually just double checked and we're not following Elsie we're following a woman called Florence whose best friend is Elsie and Florence is the character I think who's had the accident and is thinking about her life and thinking about Elsie and we're finding these things out about Elsie from Florence's um, thoughts and memories. But again it does sound really really good and um, as I've said I really enjoy Joanna Cannon's writing so I have a good feeling about this and I'm hoping I will love it. The next book is definitely a book that will probably make me sob and it's called Lily and the Octopus and this is basically about, I actually don't know, I think this is a memoir more so than a fiction book and it's about a man whose beloved dog ends up getting this um, tumour and he ends up calling this tumour the octopus so it's, we're kind of following Lily and her life living with this I think terminal illness and his connection to his dog and how I think they maybe go along her final months, days, years, I don't know how long she does live with this um, cancer because some dogs can live with cancer for years the same as humans um, and others it does take them quickly so everything I've heard about this is like I will love this book but it will probably destroy me and particularly maybe I don't know when I'll read this obviously because we did lose Jeremy um just uh, about a month ago so it is still a little bit raw so I don't know when exactly I'll read this but I know it's one I really really want to read. I have loads of books about dogs um on my shelf um on my Kindle and on my physical bookshelf it's something I love to read about fiction and non-fiction books about dogs and a few years ago I did a readathon that was literally just for me no one else participated in it but I did it just for me and it was called the Barkalog Readathon and it was basically a 
a, a week I dedicated to reading books about dogs that I owned and I think I have a feeling I would love to do something similar this year just for myself and if anybody wanted to join in they could also do it and I also have a lot of books about horses because horses and dogs are my great big loves my big animal loves so I would love to maybe do something like that like a, a and no clop along or <laughs> bark along or something like that for horse and dogs books so if that is something you would also be interested in let me know and maybe I can try and figure out a week where like that would work um so yeah it's definitely something I would like to do again and I could read this book in that time and hopefully love it and hopefully not emotionally destroy myself so the next book I have in my five star predictions is a Regency romance if you guys have been around for a while you guys know I discovered Regency romance last year and I started reading a few of them I think I've read three so far and I've enjoyed all of them so so much and they're just an absolute escape for me I just I've really enjoyed kind of finding what authors and what books I like within this genre and this book I found through um, Jess over Peace Love Books who is a big romance reader and it's called Her Night with the Duke by Diana Quincy and it is the first book in the series called The Clan clandestine affairs and we are following a character called Lady Delilah Chambers who I think is stranded she seems to be stranded in an inn um, on this like rainy night and she ends up getting in trouble with these um these men who are trying to harm her and she ends up getting saved by this stranger and they end up having like a passionate like affair um, or a passionate night of love basically and um, this one night and the next day they separate and they say they're never going to see each other again because it was just a one night thing but then I think the next day she ends up discovering that this man that she has like slept with is actually her stepdaughter's betrothed her stepdaughter is um her stepdaughter from like a previous marriage she had and I think she is a widow now and this stepdaughter I think is around the same age as her or a little bit younger and now she is engaged to be married to this man that she's had this affair with but also could possibly have real feelings for and I think that's like that's all I really know about it but Jess really really loved this book and I actually pre-ordered it when I she reviewed it and that's how much I knew I really wanted to read this book so I'm really looking forward to it again when I just need a lovely escape this is what I'm gonna read and yeah, I can't wait. And then the next book, I'm, or the last book I'm going to put on this list is a book that I've already talked about because it came up in my TBR jar, and um, my most recent TBR jar. And that is The Clan of the Cave, Bar Cave Bear by Jean M. L. And this is actually the two novels. This is The Clan of the Cave Bear and The Valley of the Horses um, in this kind of uh, mashup of the two. But I said, this is on my TBR. This book actually belongs to my dad. I actually don't know if he knows that I have it, but I have it now, it's mine. Um, this is one of my dad's favourite books of all time, this series in particular. And so when I came up in my TBR jar, I was really happy that I finally had this prompt to read it because it's one again I've been meaning to read for a very, very long time. And the way my dad has described this book, and I did see the film of um, the first movie, or the first book, um, which has, um, oh God, Daryl Hannah in it. And it was quite good, I quite enjoyed that, but the book is always better anyway or most of the time is better. So yeah, I really hope I give this five stars. I want to give it five stars because everything I've heard about it from my dad kind of signifies to me that it's something I will love and I would just really, really love to love this book as much as he does and we can talk about it and yeah, and then I can read the rest of the series as well because I think there's five or six books in this series. So yeah, I just would really love to be able to love a book that my dad loves and that would be great. So those are my five star predictions um, for this year. If you guys have read any of these books, please let me know what you guys think, what books you are hoping might be five stars for you this year. I would love to know. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. I hope you guys had a really lovely happy new year and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye.